says, Senator Linturi is a very decent man. In fact, back then, he was still a ranking member of Jubilee. When he went to UDA, he starts dreaming of other people as Madwadoa. There is some indoctrination that happens when these people go into UDA. And I just want to pray for Harvey that he's not going to get into some cultish activities and cultish thinking. Because even this evening, you have challenged him. You have challenged him to state his position on whether he thinks Senator Linturi was wrong. He has just engaged in linguistic gymnastics. Linturi has acknowledged that he was wrong. The deputy president has acknowledged that Linturi was wrong. I am not one of those who will spend the next one month telling the deputy president to apologize. Apologize for what? He seems to believe in the things that Linturi said. What we need to pray for is that his heart should be changed so that he is not a vengeful, divisive. What are you talking about? Uh, well, I'm talking about the deputy president, who is but the leader of the Hasla uh, nation. Had any part in it? In fact, there, he there said are people, he... there are people who have, uh, I think, spent the last two, three days telling the deputy president to apologise. There are people who have said that he's the owner of the dock, and so he's the one who should be called to order. I don't want to take that line. I just want Kenyans to pray for the deputy president, so that he can be less angry, so that he can be less vengeful, so that he can be less dis uh, divisive. Can that is my prayer pray for the for deputy president. Political class collectively. I think would be the question. I know we have some feedback. 2242 is the SMS line, and the hashtag is Newsnight. Uh, let me allow President Harvey just to say one thing, then we can read some of your messages. I don't know if you have a response. Now, if you listen to the conversation between uh, President Barack Obama and Trevor Noah a few days before he left uh, the White House, he said, because of his position as the President of the United States of America, he must hedge his language. He must take into account the rights of those people who are listening to him. And for that reason, he will adopt a language insofar as race is concerned that is appropriate. As we have spoken here, Wahiga, you've heard the word demagogue, you've heard the word cult, amongst many other words that are associated with this team. I can assure my colleague here that I'm fastidious, not only in my manner of presentation, but also in my manner of communication. And I think that is a matter of public notoriety. And this is a virtue that prevails amongst the, the, the rank of UDA. For instance, when we were in Eldoret, you saw the eloquence with which uh, Anne Waiguru spoke, Ket, uh, Ket Waru, uh, Waruguru, Waruguru uh, Alice Wahome, Aisha Jumwa, uh, Susan Kihika, uh, Boss Sholei, do, do you find these people in, uh, in Odium? You won't find them. And this explains why they have taken a deliberate move to castigate, to denigrate, especially the women in UDA. You've seen that particular blogger I've mentioned, every day he talks about room 350. What does he mean? That these women do not have capacity to lead? You see, it must be perceived from this context. And if my colleague and his team did not learn communication skills, it's high time they did. Because as I've said, they are finding a fire that ought not to be there. It's as simple as that. Let them concentrate on what agenda they have for the people of Kenya. Because they have none. If they had any, they will have responded chapter by verse to what about 150 of us said in Eldred on that day, they have nothing in response. They can only cling on this uh, uh, narrative that they're spewing around. But because of my civility, I don't want to call it shenanigans. But in actual fact, these are shenanigans. Which makes me wonder, <laughs> Mr. President, did you attend Saturday's rally in your capacity as a, an aspirant, the president of the LSK, a senior lawyer? Help clarify that. A few uh, people have been asking uh, that uh, question. Uh, and uh, many Kenyans must understand this. The leadership class we have in Kenya does not descend from heaven, come on earth, and get elected. It is in our midst, you understand? I should not be vilified or castigated for being a member of the UDA. It is my political right given under the Constitution. And I'm not the first one. Honorable Paul Kibugi Muite was the chairman of the Law Society of Kenya, and at the same time, the, the vice president of Ford. You see, we're not so inventing for those who are con con worried, you are now divided. One minute, 
you're defending clans, the other minute you're no, in no, no. Uh, UDA I'm, colors, I'm, where, where I'm, are your I'm priorities? Versati I'm versatile and multifaceted. And if you were to check my track record in so far as what I do in court is concerned, excellent. If you had to check my track record in so far as my leadership is concerned, excellent. Why do you expect me to act otherwise in the political arena? I've told you it won't change, and it is now manifest. Senator, I'm sure you want to say something, but let me read some tweets here. Here's what we have. 2242 is the SMS line. Hashtag Newsnight. What a way to start uh, Newsnight. Although we had a show last week, but of course, really get into a debate this evening. Youngblood says, they are sure there are no consequences. That's why small, small cash bails and bonds.